Hello everybody, uh, today I want to do a short video on Victorinox knives as a backup uh, bushcraft knife and what to look for and maybe what not to look for and I'll go over my collection of knives and tell you a little bit of the pros and the cons etc and uh, hopefully then it, it helps you to uh, uh, make a better choice. Alright, let's get into it. So let's start on, on this side of the table. Now I put stickers on my knives so I get I get the, the names right of the knives because some of them are so similar that you sometimes forget which is which. Uh, I'll make a photo uh, of, the, of the knives from uh, above so you can actually check it out and freeze the image and, and check out uh, the knives. Um, this is my ADC, my um, sportsman and why I like it is because of the file. So most knives have a small blade here, especially in the category of knives we're going to look at. And uh, so, you know, there is one of the functions I think is very handy if you're in the, in the bush, actually, or in the field, because you get dirty hands from the mud or whatever you're doing. And cleaning your nails is one of those things I find very valuable. So just as a tip, maybe to Victorinox, uh, get some of those bushcraft knives Bushcraft Victorinox knives with a, with a file instead of the small blade. Um, I am assuming you already have uh, a fixed blade. Now in this case my, my Lars Feld knife, but uh, you know, so you're going out in the field, you might have your fixed blade and you're looking for a small backup uh, knife. Uh, and of course some people will, will argue and say, well, uh, but I already have a Laplander or a Silky Saw, so you know, why bring uh, another knife? especially the smaller stuff you know you want to maybe a little bit more something a little bit smaller that is more handy for around the camp so you know you already have all those tools and then we look at the Victorinox and I think that we all can agree that there are two items on a Victorinox that actually make them you know bushcrafty and uh, in my opinion that is the saw blade uh, here on the camper I will Turn it around so it's visible, I hope. And, of course, in my opinion, the awl. So, this one you use, for instance, um, making a toggle and putting a hole in that. You see how small that stick is, basically, the size of the Victorinox. Um, and, you know, how are you going to do that with a big knife or with a saw blade? So, you're going to use something like the awl here from the Victorinox. And sawing this thing... You can see how, how thin this is and you know that is perfect with a size blade like this. So for the smaller parts, um, you know, or you want to do something funny for the kids. You want to make one of these, uh, very simple, but you, you can see the point here. If, you, if you're going to saw that, you want something small, something to whittle with and that is where the Victorinox comes in. So uh, something like that or even making a, a little boat like that, you know, those things can be done with fairly thin sticks and a Victorinox knife. So that is where they come in handy. Um, so the awl and the, uh, or the reamer, or what do you call it, and the saw blade. Now, um, when I go into uh, a weekend away or something and I go to a, a hotel or whatever, I also bring a Victorinox, uh, obviously for food prepping. And this is the, the hiker. And uh, the Hiker is actually the first Victorinox I ever owned and it's an old one. It has the old scales, the, the not shiny ones. It, it's all worn out already a little bit. Um, so basically this one has the scissors and they are very convenient when you go into a hotel and you need to open packages um, and you, wanna, you buy stuff and you want to take all the tickets and all that stuff off. Um, you know, and if you want to go for a picnic Outside, uh, you bring some food, usually packaged food. You need to open that. And with uh, the Victorinox uh, hiker, you get, you know, your corkscrew for the wine. You get your main blade for whatever food prepping you need to do. And the scissors to open up whatever you want. All right, so that is the scissors. They are very handy in, in almost any situation. They are one of the most popular uh, tools, I think, on, on, the, on the Victorinox. Now, for bushcraft, you might not think that is necessary, uh, and you want the saw blade, and then we get into the camper. The camper is basically the same knife, almost. I'm not going into all the details of the smaller, uh, smaller items, but like I said, they all come with a small blade 
which I would rather have this was a file but then again that is personal and you have your saw blade here you know big enough to to saw through small branches and and toggles like that and uh, you know they they do a fine job so the camper is you know for for to begin with is a really nice option as a backup knife it has one to three layers so it's still a good pocket knife um, now if you want to move up a little bit you get to I think the most popular model uh, from Victorinox um, in, in this category at least is the Huntsman and the Huntsman combines all those things that I mentioned it has the scissors it has the saw blade and it has the uh, the awl and the, you know those are really 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 practical items to have in the outdoors um, and then of course the corkscrew now many people argue that that is a little bit obsolete you don't need it anymore but I still open a bottle of wine every every now and then uh, with the corkscrew and you can put a screwdriver in now since I have reading glasses these come in handy a lot you know you're out in the field uh, you need to adjust your glasses uh, the, the, the the, the pause on the on the glasses they, they come undone maybe you can tighten the screw a little bit or your sunglasses so this becomes a very very interesting feature for me uh, and of course you can put that in that corkscrew you can actually add a needle of course like I did here in that I hope it's visible in that small hole so you can do a lot of adjustments and uh, basically it becomes the compact but um, uh, with scissors and a, and a saw blade so this is my favorite um, knife uh, for um, bushcrafty stuff now uh, as a backup knife now m some people might argue yeah why don't you get the alox because you get a stronger blade etc etc uh, entirely true the blade and all the other tools are definitely stronger thicker than the standard uh, issues um, but the saw blade actually is the same uh, on on the alox as is with the other models it's not thicker it's not stronger it's the same and you can actually see that on the knife I hope it focuses it has two thick layers and one smaller layer in the middle and that is actually the layer where the saw blade is it's is actually the standard model so for the saw blade you don't get a better version and you lose uh, all the other items you lose the corkscrew you lose the tweezers the toothpick all those things I really appreciate especially when I'm in the outdoors you know you had your dinner you want to clean your teeth uh, maybe you got a splinter from uh, digging with with wood and doing all kinds of stuff and uh, you want to clean your nails and stuff like that um, you know those things come in handy um, so the farmer or the farmer X that I don't own but is a really nice uh, blade um, isn't really adding much in my uh, in my opinion now then of course you can go and say oh well but I want even more features and then you can go to something like the Ranger now the Ranger has all the other items that I mentioned and it has as a bonus uh, let me see if I can find it yeah oh, among others um, but let me see if I can get it out the iron saw and file now that is a nice feature to have I agree uh, on the back side you get a chisel extra and you get something else uh, sort of like a screwdriver thingy extra like a whatever that is but the downside um, and that is just my opinion but this is one two three this is six layers and for me this this is no longer a pocket knife it doesn't really sit well in your pocket now it becomes a multi tool or a whatever and I don't I don't see the benefits anymore now I'm just carrying a lot of weight and the question is how much more value do I get in the field and as a bushcrafter I would say it is almost neglectable so the Ranger for me is one step too far in 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 the um, in the amount of tools for what I get uh, in, the, in terms of weight and volume yeah and again the saw blade is, isn't any different than the other saw blades so you don't gain anything there so in, in conclusion what in you know in these size of knives I would say you need you need functionality you need the saw blade the awl and if you can get a little bit of extra 
then take it. And I think the Huntsman is the ultimate size for that. It is the midway between functionality, having a lot of functions and tools, and still it's a pocket knife. The, the Huntsman is really a good option. Uh, and you get, of course, the, the scissors as a, as a bonus as well as the, uh, as the saw blade. Now, let's move up. If you say, well, I think actually I don't like uh, the size of that, I, I want something bigger. Um, yeah, I can get it. I, can, I get it. So here, for instance, is the rucksack. This is actually one of, my, uh, is it readable like this? The rucksack. This is actually one of my favorite knives that I bring uh, as a standalone knife. So I don't bring my fixed blade, I don't bring my saw blade, I just bring this. Uh, sometimes I go away for a week uh, with students on a trip and I, I have this with me because I know I can do mm, practically anything uh, except for batoning and that stuff, but I'm not gonna do that anyway. So th this knife, the rucksack, you know, it features the blade, of course, and the beauty is it's a locking mechanism. Now, this one is an old version. It has the cylindrical lock, I think. The new versions all have uh, liner lock. Now, that could be an issue in your country, so you have to check that out. Um, I would definitely not carry this in the, in the urban environment or any place that it might be considered a weapon. I actually only have this with me if I know I'm going to be out in the field and there is no risk of me being somewhere, you know, where that could be an issue. But you get a really big blade. Now you get a bigger sole blade. So for most people, now that is a, a, a good argument. Yeah, they say I'm going for that bigger version because I get, oh, maybe I should turn it around. No, huh? all right, doesn't really matter, but you can see, yeah, that it is significantly bigger. I think uh, a couple of centimeters, no, one, one centimeter maybe, one and a half centimeters, um, but you do get more blade. Now, the blade is actually thicker as well. I don't know if that is visible at all, but it is definitely a thicker blade. So it's a little bit stronger, a little bit longer, and you do get a little bit more sawing from your knife. Um, the downside is that the back side of these knives, you can see the steel here. Now this knife actually, look, it, it has a little bit of a springy action here. Now you might not think that is important, but when you grab it and you start working with this blade, that actually helps making it a little bit more comfortable. So of all the bigger knives, actually I find this one the most comfortable relatively. All right, now you can see I added a screwdriver again because this is actually a knife I bring a lot. So all those knives have screwdrivers because I use that. And uh, it has a locking mechanism on the blade, not on the saw. But the saw blade is nice. Now some people might argue, they want to go even bigger and they say, well, let's go for the uh, Ranger wood. Here it is. Now, it is a beautiful knife, I have to say. This one doesn't go any further, so it's not straight. It's a little bit curved, if, if that makes, yeah, like this. So it's a little bit like, like that. Maybe for the sawing action, it has the awl, so that is really nice. Corkscrew. Um, and on the back side, you can see here all that steel protruding, and this has no flex whatsoever. Uh, so you probably know where this is going. Now this saw blade, funny enough, um, look at the difference again. Yep, it's bigger. Again, another centimeter of length. So this is truly a, a large blade. Let me put it in perspective here. I hope. Mm, yeah, so you got one, two, three. You can see they're going up in size, but the thickness is not going up. Yeah, so the thickness is the same, but the length is, is bigger. So this one has the same thickness as the other model, um, but it is a little bit, um, maybe so, you can see. It has the same thickness, nothing, no difference, but it is longer. All right, fair enough, but the big downside, because I almost made it this my, my bushcraft knife sort of like my standalone knife, like if I go and I don't want to bring all the other stuff and maybe I'm not totally doing bushcrafting, but it's a little bit in between, I would bring this knife. Uh, it has a tremendous blade, again, with a locking mechanism. This one is, um, I don't know, also a sort of cylindrical liner thingy inside, I don't know, but it's, it's locking anyway. It's a beautiful blade, 
Uh, but the downside, whenever you use this knife um, and you grab it, that steel here, you can see the thin steel, that is actually what is pressing in your fingers. A beautiful knife, the handle is not comfortable, but you get the biggest saw blade. Um, so, oh, let me put it back so you can see. I will make a picture from the top so you can see all the different names. Um, so, um, if I have to make sort of like a top three um, in, in knives or Victorinox knives that, that I say buy those because you're, you're, you've got a good deal there, I would say get something like the Sportsman as your everyday carry because these knives and these are the smaller models. These are the 84 millimeters or something. Let me check that for you. Um, this is, uh, so I can, yeah, 84 millimeters, which is 3.31 inch. Oh, sorry, out of focus. Uh, 3.31 inch. And these fit in your jeans. They fit in the, in the lighter uh, compartment above the pocket. You can just slide this in and it is perfect. Now, if I had a, a choice and I would buy one again, I would probably buy the compact. Uh, that is because you get all those nice little features, extra features uh, with the knife. But the Sportsman is truly nice. And then I would say if you're looking for uh, a bushcraft knife with a saw blade that you can, uh, you know, adjust and, and, and do funny things with, uh, you can add a needle uh, so you can make a little compass, you know, with a magnet. And of course you have to get the magnet. And uh, I put one in here, as you can see. A three millimeter thingy magnet, which is really fun, and you can do all kinds of funny stuff with that. And uh, if you watch the videos from Felix, uh, you probably already know that you know he's like, a, yeah, there is not much he can't do with a knife. Oh, yeah, let's put it in. So, uh, so yeah, this is um, the Huntsman is definitely my choice. So the Sportsman, the Huntsman, and then if you want, really want to go one size bigger, uh, my choice would be uh, the Rucksack because, you know, that one is, in my opinion, the most value for money. Um, and if you just want to go to a hotel or whatever, and the saw blade isn't really that important, the Hiker comes really close to being an... Um, an excellent uh, everyday carry and of course all the other models are fine as well uh, and they they work really well as whittling knives so you know i already showed you the toggle i made this windmill uh, uh from uh you know with a victorinox uh, this uh, toggle of course a little boat and and this one <laughs> yeah i know it's not it's not brilliant but it works and especially with kids you know you can you can send them out to get a feather and then you uh, make the little boat it doesn't have to be uh i don't know elaborate and then you take the awl and you get a little hole in there and then you stick the feather in and then they can play with that uh, if you really want to make them float you actually need to put a weight on the bottom you make a, a slit here and then you put a piece of rock you jam it between it and then it will float. Yeah, if you use it like this, it will uh, topple over. Um, but you know, there's a lot of options uh, there you can do with the Victorian Knox knives. All right, guys uh, and girls, maybe. I hope it helped. And uh, you know, there is no one great knife uh, to fit all. So I would really suggest that you buy several knives that really fit, you know, what you're doing. Uh, instead of having a knife that has too many options or is too big or is, is it's almost working but not quite you know so if you want an EDC knife keep it simple if you want a bushcraft knife make sure it has the saw blade and the awl and uh, preferably the scissors you know you, you'll go a long way with that uh, I appreciate the tweezers and the toothpick they're really really convenient when you're in the outdoors um, you know and if you really want to size up then the rucksack is really uh, a fine knife. And of course they have other models with maybe more tools. And if that is something you want, then, then get that knife, you know? This is just a suggestion to, to get you to think about uh, the options. And uh, well, I hope it helped anyway. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time.